Oh, this is, this is awesome. I've been waiting a little while for this moment. What's up everybody? Welcome back for another video today. This is an, ex an insanely special video for me um, as we have received our new Yamaha 25 horsepower for the brand new Ginu, which you guys are about to see. We're gonna do an unboxing video for you. And um, this is the second brand new motor I've ever bought in my life. The first one came on my 21 Hughes Redfisher that you guys probably seen in a previous video. Um, I guess let's jump right into it and uh, get this thing open. Let's see what this baby looks like. Cut these guys up. Oh man, oh man. Put this thing down. Been waiting a long time to see this motor. So this thing is going to be awesome. If you guys remember, I had a Suzuki on my last Ginu. Well, I sold it and uh, picked up the new the new boat. And uh, obviously, we had to go Yamaha power. You guys know uh, reliability is the key, especially when you're traveling where you don't have cell phone service. Oh man, she's a beaut. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna explain exactly everything that we have for you. So, three very important things that I ordered with this motor. Most of these in this size come in a tiller drive, which is just a little tiller arm that comes off the engine. So this is a remote steering, electric start, electric trim and tilt. And if you guys take a look in the box here, it's even got a pull cord. So even though we use the best batteries in the industry, those Dakota Lithiums, um, every now and then, you never know what kind of situation you can get in, especially when you're way back in the back country. Um, worst case, if we need to ever pull start this engine, it's got the pull start just in case we ever need it, if we ever have a problem. Like I said, with Dakota Lithium batteries, we're not gonna have an issue, but it's there as a fail safe. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Let's go over and take a look. Man, it's so clean and nice and pretty. Sweet. Let's go take a look at the new boat. All right. I'm smiling pretty good right now. I can't even contain my smile. Um, so we got a brand new 2023 Ginu LT25. It's got the matching black powder coated uh, pulling platform and grab rail. Um, I'm just gonna do a very quick walkthrough with you. I'll do a much more detailed uh, walkthrough video with you guys in the future. But basically it's got two hatches on the rear deck and the front deck. We opted for a Got a 12 inch Garmin on this boat. All that sitting on an aluminum trailer and um, that's pretty much the boat. Like, All right, so we made a little jump about two blocks over and uh, this is the Tuppens showroom. So they're a Maverick Hughes Pathfinder Cobia dealer. Um, as you guys know, I've got my 21 Hughes and uh, this is probably gonna be my next boat after I don't know, probably a year, year and a half when I decide to get rid of the Ginu. This is gonna be the next step for me. This will be something I can take bone fishing in Biscayne Bay, all through Flamingo. It'll be good for camping trips and uh, just a lot of fun fishing. I'll still be able to do all the snakehead fishing that I mainly use the Ginu for. Um, this is just an all around good platform. The thing about the Hughes versus the Mavericks are, this is a 16 Redfisher. And then I think that looks like either an HPXS or an HPXV next to us. And then we've got, looks like another HPXV back here. The difference is the Hughes are wider platforms. So even though it's a foot shorter, it's about a foot wider. So it's, they're super stable. This is good for all the rougher water that you get like in Whitewater Bay and Flamingo, Shark River, all that stuff. Um, I really like this boat. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, that concludes part one of this video. Um, I'm not going to do two, two separate videos, but uh, dropped the Ginu off, gave you guys a tour of the place. Tuppence Marine, check them out. They're in Lake Worth, Florida. Uh, they've got a service department, a tackle shop. They sell boats, Maverick Hughes Pathfinder, Yamaha dealer. They've got a bunch of cool stuff in their tackle shop. Check them out. We'll be back in probably a week to pick up the Ginu, and then we're going to go take it for a ride, so stay tuned. So, it has been two weeks since I dropped off the Ginu, and they gave me a call yesterday, said it was done. I guess they ran into a little bit of an issue with uh, getting the correct gauge to work with that engine. I guess um, not every um, digital gauge works with the smaller portable engines, but they got it dialed in for us, and we are pulling in right now. Like I said, it's been two weeks since we dropped it off, so... Excited to see what it looks like. All right, guys, picking up the Gino. I gotta do, Liz, I know it's your day off. I gotta give a tremendous shout out to Liz from Tuppence Marine here. She's here on a Saturday, let me get the boat. These guys knocked it out of the park. Let me show you the boat. And uh, a couple of little things that we added. So as you guys know, I wanted the 12 inch Garmin. They wired that in and Ginu does a horrible job of putting in a switch for their, their jack plates. So we put in this little uh, blinker switch for the jack plate. And here is the new Yamaha 25. It's got electric trim and tilt, electric start, and just in case you ever have an issue, it's got a pull start. All right, I'm gonna hook this thing up and get out of here. Liz wants to go home and enjoy her Saturday. So uh, I'll see you guys at the lake. Here we go. Fired right up, how about that? All right. Shifts in and out of gear. We are good to go for a little boat ride. Come to the point where we can run the engine wide open for under just a couple of minutes so we're gonna jump up on plane and see the speed that we get out of the boat so here we go In freaking sane that I can go 27 miles an hour with this motor like right out of the box which is four miles an hour faster than my old Ginu used to go with the Suzuki on it it's absolutely incredible how a different motor just a different brand same horsepower rating stock prop everything can uh, can make such a big difference and um, 
I look forward to doing a lot more testing and uh, gonna be looking at getting probably like a Powertech propeller at some point to uh, get the boat into the 30s so that I can cruise at like 20 comfortably without ringing the motor out. But um, nonetheless, this thing runs like a beast. I'm gonna get the boat back on the trailer here and uh, I will walk through the whole boat with you guys. I kinda did a brief walk through when we brought it to Tuppence originally, but I wanna do a little bit more in depth one and talk about all the options. And uh, we'll see you guys on the trailer here in a few moments. Well guys, we took delivery of the Ginu today from Tuppens Marine. Their service department is amazing. If you need a repower or just as simple as an oil change, definitely check them out. I'll have their information in the description box below, so don't forget to check them out. Powered the old Ginu with a 25 horsepower Yamaha. This motor has electric trim and tilt. Um, one nice thing that Yamaha does to so their even all the way to their smaller engines got a little flush um, flushing hose there so that's really cool just un unscrew this and then you just hook a garden hose up for when you use this in salt water and you don't even have to start your engine up you can also just start the engine with water going into that if say you haven't started it in a little while and you just wanted to warm it up get that back on there We've got our cable steering coming out. Another really cool feature about this engine is it's got a pull cord. So say, hypothetically speaking, that your battery dies, you just pull that cord and you can, I mean, especially the places that I fish where there's no cell phone service like Flamingo and Chukaluski and all those places, they're getting better with getting cell towers out there. But if you need a jump, I mean, you got one right there. You just pull the cord and you're good to go. Um, blacked out pulling platform rod one rod holder on each side built in navigation light and i'm going to be putting some kind of decking material up here whether it's deck it marine mat sea deck or one of those um, and on the two decks um this boat here why don't you come around i got laura behind the camera today thank you laura for as always helping me we've got two three gallon gas tanks this is pretty much the same setup as my previous uh, Ginu LT25 was. We've got a cushion here. The boat's just dirty because we just uh, ran around. Um, and I just took the life jackets out of the boat. So we have usually store life jackets in here. And um, I forgot to take this out earlier. This is just the manual that came with the outboard. Um, I was reading the breaking period today. So we pretty much started that plant this guy back down for the ride home. Console, 704 binnacle. So that's the, uh, the on the console one. A 703 would be on the side of the console. This is a circular, I believe this is a command link gauge. This is the newer technology than the previous stuff. Nice round gauge there. Key switch, kill switch. Nice little bezel that Yamaha has been doing for a hundred years now. And we got a 12 inch Garmin screen. Uh, an adjustable, you know, steering wheel so you can set it at your desired liking. And then this is for the jack plate. Blacked out grab rail. My old boat had one of these and I would have never ordered one if I didn't have one on that other boat. I really like it and it protects, you know, if somebody were to grab a hold um, of the rail, they would avoid um, grabbing onto the Garmin and potentially ripping it out of the deck. Or sorry, out of the console. Uh, let's move a little forward here. I don't want to forget these papers, so I'm just gonna put them up here. Um, I've got a Yeti 20 roadie, or I think it's a 24 roadie actually, um, that's gonna go here. And I'm gonna have a cushion made to match this, you know, the black piping with the white vinyl um, to just mount here for a seat. I think it's a lot better than the old, um, I had like a little, uh, a smaller cooler that used to sit here. I think the, the 24 roadie is just a little higher so it'd be more comfortable. Same as the old boat, we've got a live well here with a stand pipe and then it's also got the, um, if you want to just keep it a dry box, you can take the stand pipe out, put the one inch plug in there, nice and easy. I ordered this boat with this, um, bass seat mount and 
I'll be honest, I don't really use the seat that I bought all that much. However, they make a smaller, like, it's almost like a saddle seat, which I kind of want to try out, or one of the, just the little half moon seats to lean up against. And uh, I want to put in, this trolling motor is compatible with a foot pedal. So ha sit on the seat, have the foot pedal, and I can fish all day just like that. Um, I currently just picked this boat up from Tuppins, and um, they would not allow it to leave the factory. They said that Yamaha does not recommend you use a uh, lithium battery with your outboard, so they put in a lead acid battery for me. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that and see if I can't just run the lithium battery for the whole entire boat like I did on my old Ginu. Um, I never had any issues, so I don't know if it hurts it over time or if it's an immediate thing but i didn't have any issues previously i currently just have it rigged up to the trolling motor here min code power drive 12 volt uh i think this is a like a 40 oh excuse me a 55 pound thrust trolling motor i guess it's been a while since i've been on the ginu um this trolling motor is perfect for this boat I don't think you need any more power. Uh, I think I also believe this is the largest 12 volt trolling motor that you can buy. It's on a quick release bracket so I can pull it off at any time uh, for fly fishing. If I'm just going to be on the polling platform, I can just pull a pin and remove the trolling motor. And then I've got a wide open space with nothing to get in the way for fly fishing. Um, I do need to add some pole holders for the push pole somewhere. And, um, and then I'll be set to go, you know, hit the flats. One new feature on this boat that the previous boat did not have is the stick it pin holder here. So I kind of had a makeshift one that I put on the stern of my old boat. Um, and it honestly didn't really work that great. The hole was really small. And um, if you were trying to just put the pin, you know, to, you know, the stick it pin in, uh, it, it was, it was kind of hard. This hole's a lot bigger. Um, and it goes in there a lot easier and I think just is more user friendly. Um, and Custom Ginu uh, sells these on their website. I think they're like 150 bucks, but worth the money in my opinion. It's out of the way and um, yeah, it's black to match the rest of the boat. Um, we've got this whole package sitting on a Continental uh, aluminum trailer. I installed the swing tongue on this one by myself and I upgraded the floor jack, which is, uh, this is like the, I don't know, the Rolls Royce of jacks, trailer jacks. This thing was like 200 bucks, but it's really nice. It's got a big wheel, which makes rolling around the garage nice and easy. And, um, oh, cool feature, miniature shark eyes on this boat. So the old boat had these big cutouts for the old style shark eyes. These things are pretty cool and they're pretty bright. I'll go turn them on for you. All right, taking a step back for a second, we're gonna look inside the console hatch, which has all the rigging. And to be completely honest, if I do find out that the uh, outboard can only run on a lead acid and not on a lithium battery, I'll probably end up mounting a small lead acid battery under the console here. Um, I guess they gave me a spare battery tray that looks new and uh, the wiring is nice and clean in there. One thing that I'm going to add to this console, there's a company, I think it's called Tackle Webs, is that right? Yeah, Tackle Webs. And they make these little like pouches here. I don't know if, so if one of you guys has a better option besides the Tackle Webs, um, I guess drop a comment down below. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. You know, was it worth getting a new boat for? I mean, a lot of the same features, a lot of upgraded features. Obviously, one of the Yamaha got four more miles of miles an hour out of the Yamaha stock engine for stock engine with no prop modifications. Four extra miles an hour out of the new engine. I think when we put a stainless prop on, uh, we are probably going to be in the 30 mile an hour range. And that may not be important to you. You know, if you're not worried about speed, you know, um, this boat I'll be running pretty far with it you know maybe 15 miles in a day when we're going out in flamingo and we're running all through the backwaters and everything 
And to be able to cruise faster, say at 20 miles an hour or 18 miles an hour versus cruising at 15 or 16 miles an hour, makes a big difference. You know, it's a four to five mile an hour difference in cruise. And um, I think, like I said, once I put a prop on that, it, it's going to be a, a, an animal. It's going to cruise faster um, and we're going to get wider top end speeds. Uh, I've preached Yamaha for a long time. I stand behind them and uh, they are, uh, I've officially partnered with Yamaha this year. So Yamaha, thank you guys for supplying me with a great motor. That's all I got to say. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to thumb, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.